The great Robert Wattis says that our physical doors may be closed, but our spiritual doors are wide open. And that's a very wise man there. They say that it's in the worst of times that things get fixed. So I'm hoping that on the other side of this pandemic, that we may well fix things like mass incarceration or the great disparity that exists between the haves and the have-nots in terms of access to those things that enhance the quality of our lives. Access to education and health care and opportunities in general. You know, the poet writes, now could be the moment when we fall apart or we become whole. Now, just the other day uh, after uh, Easter, uh, we reflected on the two disciples walking to Emmaus. Everybody knows the story. They're very distressed. They're panicky. They're wearing their masks. They're wondering when Homeboy will reopen. And they meet this stranger. It's Jesus, but they don't know it. And he kind of calms them down. And then they... Uh, take them inside and they all uh, eat some tacos and they recognize him and he vanishes. Well, it's a story about uh, soothing us when we're panicky and worried and filled with anxiety. But even more than being soothed, we are being centered. We're being anchored in the things that matter, the things that count, putting first things recognizably first and living as though the truth were true. Beyond being soothed is being centered. And that's where we want to be. So I was thinking about this homie named Carlos who uh, came to this country when he was like one and then he got deported, uh, you know, 20 five years later, and, uh, you know, he would write me and call me and text me and email me, and and one day he called me from L.A., and he said he was home, and so we went to Marie Callender's and had uh, dinner, and he told me all about it, and it was quite the ordeal, you know, he was always beaten and robbed, in fact, somewhere in Mexico, southern Mexico, he was beaten, robbed. They took all his valuables, all his clothes, including all the clothes that he was wearing. So there he was in some village, butt naked, running around, covering himself and trying to explain to villagers. And one by one, people started to say, here, put these on and these might fit you. And I think you could fit into these shoes. And suddenly he was clothed in other people's kindness. And then he made a solemn vow. He said, I will be kind from now on, always. And so he was. And uh, once he, he met this young woman who had a young daughter, and, and uh, so he kind of helped her, and he was kind to her, and he would hustle up food, and they would ride on the top of trains, which was quite dangerous. And and uh, once they were on top of the train, and the train was slowly coming in to a village, and he saw a, a church, and there was like a letrero, and a big sign like announcing the, the homily or the sermon for that upcoming Sunday, and it said simply this, Carlos, I am with you. And he began to cry, and he knew that his vow was authentic and real. And so he vowed to put first things first and to live as though the truth were true. And yeah, we want to be soothed, but it's way better to be centered in the things that matter. And yeah, our physical doors may be closed, but our spiritual doors are wide open. And maybe in these worst of times, 
things will get fixed and we'll be a part of that. Now could be the moment when we fall apart or we become whole. Love you all.